Hi guys, a few days ago I went and saw the curious incident of the dog in the night time at the National Theatre and this is um, a play based on a book. The book is written by Mark Haddon and it came out a few years ago but I only read it this year, earlier this year and actually made a review of the book because I love this so much I wanted to talk about it and it's on my channel somewhere. So when I found out that the National were going to stage this show um, I, I was so excited and I actually got a ticket for myself for one of the first previews but because I'm an idiot and I hardly ever book things in advance I forgot to go on the day, that was just, this was back in like August, um, early August, and I missed it and I didn't get to go and very quickly after that, um, because it got amazing reviews, all the shows pretty much got sold out so I had no way of getting tickets for the rest of them. But I got really lucky a few days ago that one of my friends offered me his ticket because he'd already seen it and he'd loved it so much that he'd booked to go and see it a second time but unfortunately he couldn't go, fortunately for me I guess, um, and so he kind of told me, oh do you want to go, I've got a ticket, and I was like, yes please, thank you so much. So basically the main reason that I got to see this was him, so thank you Nick. Anyway, as I said, the show is completely based on the book, um, the novel, The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Night Time, um, by Mark Haddon, and if you've read the book you'd know the story already, but basically it's about uh, called, a kid called Christopher, and um, he's got um, Asperger's Syndrome, um, so he's kind of got some mental problems, and the story starts with him finding out that his neighbour's dog was killed, and it, it's kind of like a mystery, I suppose, in a way. Um, you know, he tries to find out who killed the dog, and um, through his kind of search for this, um, for the killer, the murderer, a lot of other things happen, and we get to learn a lot about Christopher and his family, and how he sees the world, um, and all the problems that he faces because of um, his you know, problems, men mental problems. The story itself is very, very heartbreaking in my opinion and very eye-opening at the same time. It's just really interesting to kind of learn uh, and see the world through the perspective of someone with Asperger's Syndrome or, or autism. Um, and so I was slightly nervous about um, seeing the stage show because I wasn't sure how close they were going to stay to the book. And um, I have to say that it was pretty much exactly the same story just on stage, and that's what amazed me really. It's always difficult to get it right when you're doing book adaptations, you know, um, book to stage adaptations, but The Curious Incident got it completely right. The show stays completely true for the story. Um, I, think actually, I think every single kind of important bit of the story and all the important lines were in the stage show. Obviously when you're reading the book, um, there's a lot of explanation going on about Christopher's feelings and stuff that it's kind of hard to kind of show on, on stage. But I think they did a great job of that because they had Siobhan, which is um, Christopher's teacher slash mentor, um, kind of say some of the stuff that Christopher was feeling um, after every few scenes, which I thought was a really creative idea. Siobhan was played by Neve Kazak, who was brilliant. She really got the character well and um, she kind of showed um, a lot of sympathy towards Christopher. It was very believable, uh, her relationship with Christopher and her concerns for him. Christopher himself was played by Luke Treadway. He was outstanding. I cannot even begin to explain how amazing he was. I mean, I've never seen acting like that before in my life. He was so true to Christopher's character. He was exactly how I'd imagined Christopher's character to be like when I read the book. And he's like, I think he's in like his mid-twenties or something, but he, for him to play a 15-year-old boy and make it look so believable, just it's just amazing. I. Ah, oh, he was so, so good. I mean, he's on stage for pretty much the whole show, really, because he's the main character, obviously. And, you know, it's, it's, it must be quite hard to kind of go through such an emotionally difficult show every night and, you know, get through it and make it fresh and believable every time. But he did such a great job. There's so much that he has to do on stage. He has to go through loads of different emotions. Well, I mean, you know, he has to make the audience believe that he's got autism. And he did that very, very well. And, oh, I don't know, I just... He is just one of the best actors I've ever seen, and I hope that he kind of gets an award or some kind of recognition for it. I think he's already been nominated for some awards or something. I'm not sure which ones, but he definitely deserves something for his amazing performance in this. He was phenomenal. Christopher's dad was played by Paul Ritter, who was also really good. The dad's role is quite difficult because he's he's basically the one living with Christopher in the beginning of the story. And he's um, meant to kind of show all the complications of living with a kid with autism. And um, I, th I thought Paul did a great job of that. His relationship with Christopher was very believable. Um, there were moments that were very, very heartbreaking where the father, Paul, kind of tries to somehow connect to his son but fails because he doesn't know how to and his son is so different in his mind, I guess, to how normal people are. And it's just, 
it was a, it was great. It was a very moving relationship um, between the two of them. Then we have Christopher's mother, um, who is um, was played by Nicola Walker. She was also really really good. I wasn't quite sure of her at first, um, but um, as the show progressed, she completely convinced me, and she was really good, great, um, especially her relationship with the dad, Paul Wood, because in the second act there are some scenes where both of them are in, in, the, in the scene together with Christopher, um, so Christopher's mom and dad, and they're kind of meant to, meant to show, although they're kind of arguing and stuff, they also have this kind of connection because they both understand each other's frustrations about Christopher's situation, and it, again, it's just very, very moving, very heartbreaking, very, very emotional. Now, in addition to the show having an amazing cast, another thing that I thought made the show very special was its staging. The staging was very creative. I mean, the Cottesloe Theatre at the National Theatre is quite a unique theatre in, in, in the way it's designed. And they made the most of the space that they had. I mean, it was just stunning, some of the, some of the parts of the show, how they made it work and how they made it look to the audience. Um, I wish I could go and see it again, to be honest, just to see how some of the stuff worked. But honestly, like, the props, the staging, Everything about um, the show in terms of creativity was perfect, phenomenal. All the supporting actors were also brilliant. Um, they did a lot of different jobs. Um, some of them played different characters throughout the show, but they were all so good, so convincing. But obviously the, the you know, star of the show was Christopher, Luke Treadaway, who pretty much holds the show together. Uh, it's like two and a half hours and he's basically the main part of it, and if it wasn't for him, I don't think the show would be half as good. He really, really deserves just amazing things for his performance in this. The show is at the National Theatre until, I think, the end of October, so a week or so left. Um, I'm so glad I got to see it um, at the theatre, but I've actually heard recently that it's meant to be transferring to the Apollo Theatre in the West End next year from March to August, I believe. I'm not sure how true that is, but I think it's true. And hopefully it is true because um, I'd love to see it again, and I don't think I'll get a chance to see it again here because all the remaining performances are sold out. Um, it will be quite it will be interesting to see it in a different theatre, um, because the Apollo Theatre is very different to uh, the National Theatre, um, and so you know, it's, they're probably going to have to change some of the staging and uh, some of the blocking and stuff, so that should be interesting to see. Hopefully it'll work just as well, and hopefully it'll be with the same cast because I thought the cast were amazing. So yeah, that's all I have to say really. I mean, if you do get a chance to see it while it's still at the National Theatre, then definitely do go. For me, the show was no doubt the best play I've ever seen, and one of the best things I've ever seen as well, full stop. The acting in it was outstanding, I've never seen anything like it, and obviously I love the story as well, because um, I love the book. It's just such a moving story. Or you can just wait until it opens at um, the Apollo Theatre next year and then go and see it, but definitely do go and see it if you do get a chance, because it's amazing and... Yeah, I just feel so lucky that I got to see it before it closed at the National. So, yeah, that's all for now, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.